Hey guys, Perugia here. In this video, we're going to talk about the design systems. Now, the previous video, which I published yesterday, showcasing and analyzing Uber's design system, um, had quite a bit of success, meaning that I received a lot of messages asking about the design systems and how to create one. And in this video, I want to give you a high level overview of the basic elements which are needed whenever you're tackling a design system project. No matter how small or big the project or the design system is going to be. And uh, we're going to go through the high level because I already created a video on how to create design system from scratch in Figma. It's a very comprehensive video, but in this video, I just want to talk about uh, the basic elements. So as we discussed yesterday, basically the basic elements that you always want to have is going to be the typography, the main colors of the design system and also the UI UX components, which are going to be the reusable elements, which you're going to use throughout the entire app website and also possible marketing materials. So let's start and let's examine this one. And by the way, I'm using the Big Sur UI kit, which is available for free in uh, uh, Figma by LS Graphics and as you can see it's an amazing kit which uh, is essentially all about uh, the Big Sur uh, new Apple update. So as you can see over here we have uh, all of these uh, text elements and uh, let me use command and the, the dot in order to see all of the um, Figma uh, basic, basic tools and uh, as you can see we're going to have uh, pretty much uh, all of the elements uh, are directly here on the right. So for example, we can uh, browse through the different titles and this is going to be really useful whenever you're creating a new screen uh, since you're going to have all these styles created consistently. Now, the way you create these uh, text styles in Figma is very easy. You simply have to write some text. I'm going to write here text. And as you can see by default, uh, I already have one of these styles applied. Now for this instance, uh, I'm going to detach the style since uh, this is going to be similar to what you're going to see whenever you're tackling a new project. And uh, let's say that uh, I select uh, a font, uh, I can change all of these settings, yada, yada, yada. And uh, we click uh, then on style. And uh, if you click on the create style, this plus icon, you can rename it to, for example, heading one, create style. And now we have our heading one. And in case you want to change the style at any given point, you simply have to click over here and you can go to through all of the properties pretty much. So why is this useful? Um, it's very simple. If you actually add this heading one in a hundred screens, uh, and then you decide that, uh, hey, the heading ones, I want to change the font and I want the color to be red. You can simply edit it from this one instance and it's going to apply to all of those 100 screens. So this is the power of the design system. You build something once and uh, then you want to make a change. You do a one click and in one second you, you can make a huge redesign and the design updates uh, to possibly hundreds of screens in seconds. So that's one of the benefits as well as, of course, visual consistency and clarity. Now let's talk about the colors. So the way you create the colors, as you can see, if I select one of these colors right here, I'm going to see all of the colors directly in the styles menu. So say that we create um, a new color right here. Let's say that uh, I want this to be a green notification um, color. And uh, I can easily do that uh, by simply going here on these four dots. And again, very similar style. I'm going to write in green. And you can also have like operators inside in order to add some uh, the, the sub menus and whatnot. So for example, if I revert back, is command Z and I try doing this uh, again, but changing the name. So maybe um, let's say X and then green, create style. You can see that now this uh, X title has been created. So you can create maybe primary, secondary, and tertiary 
colors directly in uh, this way so that it's well organized and um, yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to the colors so very similar to the typography and now let's talk about the elements because usually these uh, elements which are also considered as components in figma usually you would like uh, to have them uh, in uh, um, under a master component so basically the way it works if we see this uh, symbols page which is a very common way of uh, creating uh, the different symbols and components we're going to have all the master components and uh, what a master component is uh, is one of these elements where you're going to see these four dots uh, and if i duplicate this you can see that now i do not have these four dots now what does what this means uh, is that uh, this element uh, is going to basically tell to all of these uh, copies uh, which which we can possibly make uh, uh, what the color this the font sizes and all the other properties are going to look like so if i detach this uh, or i could have even just use the other one you can see that as i change uh, this current one all the other ones are going to change and i'm going to give you like a, a quick uh, um, tutorial on how to create these master components it's super easy um, simply go here let's just select for example this color and going to click here on create component this is a master by default and i can just simply duplicate it and as you can see the logic is going to apply so it just takes one click uh, and then you can create uh, this uh, component now why this is useful for UI kits uh, and or actually <laughs> design systems and also UI kits actually um, because you can simply create a one single component and then you can create all different instances of that master component in the UI components if that makes sense so you simply have to create the base and then all the variations which are going to follow are going to be here so this is it at a glance we're going to go much more in depth in other videos and again i already have a video where uh, we're basically creating a design system from scratch so feel free to check it out and also feel free to check out this free uh, ui kit from ls graphics which i'm going to leave in a link in the description and uh, i'll see you in the next video